friends hello hope you are well let's talk about dwac and it was a crazy week in the market here and we ended today on friday the 15th it is march and guess what is next week the 22nd to be exact which is a week from the day and will be the 22nd a friday um and that is the day where we will have a vote to see if digital world will the deal will go through with true social and we expect it to at this point everything seems like it is green lights um and hopefully that can last another five days in the market and this deal will be done and we will move on with our lives into the next hemisphere of whatever's going to happen here with true social um and the next runs on it so let's break down what has happened here so far um just kind of giving a simple chart look what's going on here digital world today took a little bit of you know damage a lot of you know just really the whole market today i mean the whole market was still down inflation coming through that it's high who thunk it um and you know stocks they just kind of they kept falling they just kept falling and uh but but still i mean you know we ended that you know right under 39 dollars today so i mean really is that much to complain about uh so next week we expect high volume i expect high volume i expect to see this stock potentially run to something ridiculous now whether that ridiculousness is you know fifty dollars sixty dollars seventy dollars who knows but obviously I, I think the majority of the volume and the run will come on a friday excuse me on wednesday especially on thursday and then friday once we see what's really going to happen here and this is obviously if no bad news comes up here with what's going on so here's what i do expect one thing that is going to be certain here is that next week we're probably going to see a lot of bad articles about trump we're going to see a lot of bad things about true social we're going to see bad things about digital world acquisition because I do think, and this is not me trying to be, you know, conspiracy theory or, you know, uh, put it on the tin hat here. Um, you know, obviously, it's pretty obvious that the general media does not want True Social to exist. So they're going to be going after it and people that hate Trump. Who knows what could come out here? Uh, who knows what could come out? So it's still, until this deal is 100% done, it is a risky it's a risky play as far as I'm concerned. One major thing I've talked about quite a bit here is really, you know, Friday, obviously, we're expecting the deal to happen and, you know, it's going to be yes or no. And we'll see what will happen here. Um, but I think that is a, a key point where you need to, if you're wanting to get out of this at the right time, make a um, exit strategy, you know, where so with this deal coming up here, I, I I think this is where a lot of people are going to be very divisive or where they're, they're planning on what to do with the next step here in the stock. More than likely, we expect next week to probably bring the biggest numbers that we're going to see here for a while. There's probably going to be a big bull run on this stock this week. If everything goes the way it should, you know, just just a basic stock, a basic company you know going into when you have two companies merging together for one big company to go on you know the nasdaq it's going to be a big push at first it just is it always is we've seen this time and time again with this kind of situation but this situation is a little more different because it is a it's a very famous company already that people are expecting big things out of so saying that there's going to be people that are going to sell out on uh late thursday or friday if the stock hits big numbers and you know they're walking away with money they're okay with what they made they're not going to be greedy and they're going to let the thing reset and see where it lands what happens with the deal and where this lands financially because more than likely there will be a big push there's going to be some kind of big number it's going to hit now like i said whether that's 50 60 70 or it just goes back up to you know 48 dollar mark um, you know, that is what it is at this point. The market is not giving any support whatsoever. And like I said, the general media is not giving any kind of general support towards true social. That's just not going to happen. So there will be a lot of sell off in this stock probably Friday, Monday. If, you know, whether the deal happens or not, if the deal doesn't happen, then there's going to be a lot of it's going to be a bloodbath. But if the deal happens, there's going to be there's going to be a run up to that. And then there will be a sell off. Now, after that, you know, I, I think there's going to be people that are sitting here kind of bag holding to see what happens next. And 
I will say it could be a long summer if you hold on, but if you want to hold on, that's fine. That you know, if you're a long-term investor, good for you. That's great. Um, but I, I do want to warn people that you know, personally, watching things like this before. I think True Social will, when it does come onto the market here, it more than likely will start taking, you know, a, a, a lack of interest in people's enthusiasm for it um, until things happen here later into the year. Um, you know, and that, that's the biggest thing you see with investors. They just lose focus. They lose interest and they, they lose patience and people want to put their money elsewhere. Um, so... I would expect to see this kind of have a little bit of a slow summer um, with True Social, and if it stays at twenty, thirty dollars, to me that would be a win. I think that would be huge numbers considering you're talking about a company that's really not doing much financially, and you know we're not really sure what their future holds and what it looks like um, because you know whether or not, and here's the thing too, what you really need to think about whether or not say Trump was even like. You know, involved in True Social, you are literally putting your money into a new platform that is a free speech platform that, from what we know right now, is not liked, not loved by the general media um, whatsoever. So, and we're seeing this with Rumble. You know, Rumble is trying to break out here, but Rumble, a successful company right now that's been around for quite a little bit of time at this point. Um, is still in a very much growing pain. So that's why I say, you know, don't expect huge numbers financially from True Social right now. Um, these, uh, To me, this whole year is nothing but hype plays with this stock. Um, and it's going to be very volatile the rest of the year. But there's still a lot of money to be made in the stock if you play it right. So with that, friends, I don't want to talk too much more about it because next week, I, you know, I want to save my steam. I, th I think that's going to really be day by day, see what happens with the stock here. Um, but I would expect to see this thing start to run here. You know, the general media is going to have to talk about what's going to happen here with the deal regardless. Um, but like I said, don't ex they're not going to be putting out positive, good articles about how True Social is so helpful. It's such a pleasant platform you know you're not going to see anything like that it's going to be pretty much just ripping it apart or just kind of mentioning what's going on but not saying anything positive so friends that's where we're ending this week with digital world acquisition i'm happy where it's at i think this is great going into next week um I, it'll definitely claim 50 dollars again so let's see what it does after that um, I'll mention Rumble here real fast because I've been talking about that quite a bit. Um, Rumble is a stock that I'm still very interested in. I, I you know, I, Rumble is one of those things I almost look at it as certain cryptos where it's almost like you can't afford to not be a part of it as what could happen with it. Um, because it, it, I, it could be the black horse in the background rising up. Um, and I, I still think, obviously, it's a very new, you know, company where it, what it's trying to do. But it, it is becoming a competitor with YouTube because there's nothing else. There are other things like YouTube, but they're just not anywhere even close. And Rumble is the closest and Rumble is the biggest, especially with, you know, branching out into other big companies and deals with them. And Rumble is still latching on the things um, that it is becoming a part of and obviously there's still this whole talk that it is trying to do something with TikTok but TikTok right now is like you know chum in the water everybody is trying to get a piece of it and um I, and I've said this in my videos with Rumble that I I just personally don't think that Rumble will get the deal with TikTok I, I just don't and I say that generally because of our um you know relations with our our government. I don't think they want anything to do with Rumble. I don't think they want Rumble anything to have anything to do with TikTok because Rumble is a free speech platform and Rumble is very, very non, uh, you know, all those people that voted in that house. Um, it is not, it, it's just not, it's just not. So, um, I, I, I expect it's going to be some company we don't really know about where some somehow Uncle Sam is getting a huge cut of what's going on with TikTok or it's going to be Meta or it's going to be um, Alphabet. <laughs> I, don't, I won't say any more about that, but 
I, I think it's going to be generally something that our, you know, Congress people have large amounts of money in. I, to me, this whole thing is political, has nothing to do with our safety, has nothing to do with anything else like that. It's 100% political and has to do with finances. Uncle Sam wants his hand in the cookie jar, and that's what this is. So either way, it's been good for Rumble, and Rumble will have their court at least next week as well. So this is another big thing. Um excited to be to be excited about um it's it's gonna be a big week for rumble here excuse me rumbles quarterlies are the 27th it's uh, two weeks away the 27th um but we're still you know these quarterlies should should be good we're hoping here they should be so with that friends i am going to make this a short video and i'm gonna do some more things over this weekend but um hey I'm excited. I'm excited. Next week should be really good. The rest of this month should be really interesting with a lot of these big stocks that just been sitting here and waiting at this point. Um, so we will see what happens. And um, just uh, what else can you say here? Friends, take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone.